Welcome back friends, it's your friend Ali DZ with a new review. Today we are doing a long-term review of the Rockwell T2. So make sure you stay tuned. Now the other products we're using today are all Perazzo. So we'll start with the pre-shave. We will have the soap, which is Perazzo as well, and then the aftershave as well. Um, obviously, won't talk too much about it because pretty much half the shaving world knows about these products. And if you don't, we'll probably do a separate review on those. Uh, for the brush, my usual Moolah's Badger brush. So in terms of the packaging, it comes in a protective black box, but really this is what the case looks like. It's a leather case, looks really, really beautiful, guys. And you can see, if I put my finger on there, it just gets smudged. It's got like a mirror kind of finish. Now, anyways, when you open the box, they have two versions. Now, the first version was the Model T, which, you know, they've obviously upgraded. And this is the Model T2. It doesn't mention that on here, though. And it talks about the razor, it talks about the instructions and how to load the blade and pretty much talks about settings. So if you're interested in reading that, you can pause the video and you can read it there. So that's what the box looks like, guys. It's got a leather pouch in here. The Rockwell blades, it comes with a pack of five blades. I've used just one from the box, I believe. Which should tell you how much I love these blades, but I can't wait to tell you about the razor. So the Rockwell T2 is a true adjustable razor. And when I say true adjustable, it means they've got a mark in there. And then simply all you do to change the aggression of the razor is turn that around so six being the most aggressive and if you want to turn it down to five four three two and one and one's probably so mild that you can barely cut yourself with it um, doesn't work for me the one but yeah we'll talk more about it in terms of the razor it's a twist to open razor so pretty much is you know you twist it at the bottom and that opens up and the same for the mechanism to close as well. Blade exposure obviously varies depending on the setting that you use, the level of aggressiveness you use. But for more about the device and I guess numbers of the device, I'll put it up on the screen now for you. Pretty much. The knurling, the weight, the grip on this device is beautiful. And I love razors that stand on their own. So the blade of choice today is the Wilkinson Sport Blade. And I'll show you how we load the blade up as well. So pretty much. Twist to open, like I mentioned. It's not a very graceful way of doing what I just did, but all you do is you pop the blade in and then when you've got to get it out, you get it out from the sides. Now pretty much to close it, just turn it gently. Make sure it's tight and snug. Don't push it too tight, but as long as it's tight enough, it's good. And you'll see that the alignment of the blade is just perfect. Like literally you've got to do nothing there. The other beautiful part about this razor, guys, is once you've got the blade in there, there's no hang on the sides of the blade or the razor in here, which I think is a good feature and worth mentioning. Now, another little detail I forgot to mention about the razor is the bottom part of the razor. So you can see how the razor basically has these points at the bottom where your shaving cream, the hair will just slide through from the bottom down here. 
and that way there's not a lot of clogging that happens with the razor as well. So I'm going to mention the usual routine. I am going to use a normal face wash, apply pre-shave, and then get some lathering happening on the face with the Pro Razo and I will get back straight without wasting any time on lathering on screen for today because the focus is the razor. All right, so face wash done and the facial hair that I have guys is about three, four days worth now. So I'm pretty much gonna put very, very little pre-shave. Okay, so we are all ready to go for the shave now. Now before I start the shave, I wanna say a massive thank you to Michael from Beard and Blade for giving this razor to me. I cannot thank you enough, Michael. I appreciate it a lot. Um, for the viewers, guys, if you're based in Australia and if you buy wet shaving gear, Beard and Blade should not be a new name to you, but if it is, go check out their website. Um, they have a massive range of not just amazing products for both beard as well as like, you know, guys that shave, like myself. They also have a range of other products like hair products and things. So definitely, definitely check out their website. Again, Michael, thanks so much for the razor. It is, as you know, been my, one of my go-to razors. So that's setting number six. If you can see that, yeah, you can, great. All right. So the angle on this one, you keep it flat on the face. Okay, like that, and just a slight tilt, not too much. Okay, so here we go. Ideally, I would use that setting if I haven't shaved for a week or more. But this just wipes the whiskers, no problems. It's, everything is just gone. Like I can't feel anything on my face. That's like a bowl full of whiskers just in my sink here. Now, just like the Rockwell 6C that I did review, the setting 6 is quite aggressive. Like you'll definitely feel the blade. So I'm gonna tone down the setting to number five, perhaps. Works like magic. Beautiful. Now this part of my beard, the hair growth goes upwards and also happens to be one of the most sensitive spots on my face. So I'm gonna shave upwards and that's with the green. and then just change to normal. All right, so that was the first pass. All done. I'm gonna wash my face off or actually just wipe it off. All right, so that was the first pass done. And now the next pass, I'm really gonna just probably do two passes, guys. Uh, now that was the first pass all done nice and clean, right? Uh, 
um, I do feel like if I went with perhaps um, setting four, which would have been ideal for the day, but for the sake of the video, I went with setting six and then toned it down to setting five. Ideally, I wouldn't recommend it. I do feel a little bit of a sting on the face, which is again my fault. I shouldn't have gone that aggressive. Now I'm going cross grain on my face and on my mustache area. And then on the neck, I'll go uh, against the grain. That'll be the next pass. Um, and for that, the setting I'll take is probably gonna be somewhere in between setting two and setting three, as you can see. And that's the arrow right on top there. Okay, so that's the next one. Perfect. It's so perfectly mild. It's it's balanced just right for what my face needs now. So after a very aggressive shave, I've now gone to something a lot milder. Beautiful, beautiful razor. So as I was saying guys, you know, with the clogging, there is no clog because you see this part here, everything just flows down from the bottom and that gives you all that free area to play with. So it was all too good to be true with this razor, guys. First of all, I had my eyes on it since the initial version was out and then the T2 was out and I really, really wanted to get my hands on one of these. And I was speaking to uh, Michael from Beard and Blade and I'm like, you know, I'm interested in this razor. Really what happens is when I'm traditionally buying my wet shaving gear, I've always only and only looked for a good deal, you know, good razor, quality, price, everything's important, value for money, right? Um, that's when I really came across Beard and Blade. And this is when I was first transitioning from cartridge to, you know, DE razors. And my transition razor was uh, the One Blade Core. And it was a fantastic razor and I, you know, it, it did its job. It got me into transition to D razors and that fear of D razors was gone. So the neck is all clean and nicely shaved. Okay, just these areas in here that need shaving better. All right, so we'll do one final pass. I've got enough, I believe, lather in there to make that final pass happen. So yeah, talking more about Beard and Blade, guys. Um, this is again, not a sponsored video or anything, okay? They, if you're in Australia, like I said, they're one of the best band, brands to buy from. It's a local business and you know, I'm all about supporting good local businesses. Plus, Michael is just amazing. I've had interactions with him every now and then. Um, there is also, a, I guess, demo razor he sent me that I'm obviously not allowed to talk about yet, but we will at some stage. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy the friendship, but at the same time, they're an amazing, amazing product range that they have on their website. They are an amazing company. 
and I think the follow through is pretty good from all the comments I read as well. So guys, check out their website. It's actually quite cool if you're based in Australia. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to setting number one and pretty sure I'm gonna regret it because it's not um, a setting that's, I guess, strong enough for <coughs> my skin skin type i guess but we'll give it a shot and if it doesn't work i'll go setting two okay so here we go or maybe i've just changed my mind about it oh lord Okay, so that's that's done a great job on setting one. I felt nothing. Wow, and it's just wiped off everything from my skin. I wonder why I never bothered using setting one. Okay, this is now my official favorite setting for an against the green pass. Okay, this feels fantastic. I think clean shape, all good, all done. Um, Razor has given me a great shave, guys. So I've gone all the way from setting six to setting one and it's worked out efficiently. It's worked out really well. Um, I am kind of glad I've never tried the setting one before because you can't replicate the surprise factor. I did try setting one on the Rockwell 6C, which gave me an impression that setting one is not the right one for me. But yeah, this one, I don't know what's different, but it's blown my mind away. The other part could be that when I was using the Rockwell 6C, I did try the Rockwell blades. Now, some people like the blades. I know it's not for me. I remember I cut myself really bad multiple times with the blade, um, got multiple nicks, and I'm someone that gives every product a benefit of doubt because if I let my judgment be clouded by something I have read, something I've seen, and not experienced firsthand or experienced once, that won't be a good honest review so I've got to keep an open mind but every time I see a Rockwell blade now it just I take a step back anyways that's that's my opinion on the blades the razors on the other hand whether it's the 6C I'll put a link in the description box below for the Rockwell 6C review I've done as well as I'll put a link somewhere on top here 6C or the T2 they are razors. You cannot fault the Rockwell razor. You cannot fault it. It's just amazing. Uh, personally, I just love this razor. I've actually not used any other DE razor as much as I've used this particular razor. Um, yeah, and um, you know, it gives you, I've knocked off, you know, almost 10 days worth hair on setting six and it was like, you know, nice, easy glide. And at the same time, there's not a single cut or a whisker on my face, which to me is amazing, right? So that just talks about the 
I guess, range on the razor you can have just by changing the level of aggression or the blade exposure. Um, actually, you know what? Let's double check. I am going to just try and splash some aftershave on my face just to ensure there's no burn. Okay. There's a little bit of nice tingle, nice burn. I think it's more from the setting six that I went. So moral of the story, guys, if you don't need that level of aggression, don't tone up the aggression uh, on your razor, right? So I just literally did it for the sake of the video because I really wanted to showcase the range on the razor, I guess wasn't a smart move. Nevertheless, it wasn't as bad a shave. The shave was just, in fact, beautiful. The burn is just a little bit of a tingle. It's gone now. Um, long term, like I said, it was too good to be true, guys. Six months in, this has to be one of the best razors I have personally experienced or used in the DE world. Now, some people ask and say, this is a good beginner's razor as well. I don't know. Look, in my opinion, I get the logic. You probably can tone down the razor to setting one, you know, and you can get going with it. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend this as a beginner's razor. I think for a beginner's razor, you could start with something as basic as, you know, a good beginner's razor that's not too aggressive. You know, get your hands um, and your grip and your angle working well with how you should shave with a DE razor. So, Look at a DE89 from Edwin Jagger. I've done a review on that as well. I'll tap it in the description, whichever side it comes up on. Um, so do check it out if you are a beginner or if you just want to check out the review for the DE89 or try something as basic as like a King C Gillette. You know, they're, they're great razors to start off with. Once you get an understanding of what sort of, you know, aggressiveness, you need in terms of your razor, the length. If you're a daily shaver, you'd probably just hang on to the D89, who knows? But like, you, you, you wanna try and experiment different blades um, and really get to know what works for you and then really start playing with something which is an adjustable, you know, with the level of aggression as well. That's my very humble opinion, my two cents, but hey, it's your money, you know? If you wanna buy it straight up, go for it. It's, I don't see why that's not a good idea. It's just, I think I like playing things a little more safe. So friends, if you did like the video, you got something out of it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And this way, every time I drop a video, you get to see it straight away. Um, that's my long-term review, which is a six month review on the Rock Bell. T2 razor, it's an honest review. Um, that's all for today, folks. I'll see you next time. Another razor, another review. Could be something else, could be another product. Till then, stay safe, stay classy.